Hi everyone, it's Christian Porter, and today we'll be doing a Let's Play uh, that you all voted on, so don't complain to me if it sucks. Uh, at the behest of the GameCola.net community, I will be playing the DOS game Dr. Ruth's Computer Game of Great Sex. A uh, little history on the game for your info before we begin. Uh, for those too young to know, Dr. Ruth was mostly popular in the 80s and early 90s for being a tiny German lady who gave sexual advice to, on TV to pretty much anyone who'll listen. Uh, eventually she made a board game that was called Dr. Ruth's Game of Great Sex, uh, which is perhaps not the best choice for your family game nights, and it was decided this board game should be brought to PCs, which makes me wonder uh, who at this game company said, you know, if there's one demographic that's positively drowning in pussy, it's 1986 PC gamers. It's like giving pot roast recipes to impoverished Ethiopians is a clear misunderstanding of your audience. Uh, but anyway, let's begin. I have a feeling this is probably going to be a pretty quick game, so hopefully we can make a reasonable size Let's Play out of this. Wow, an animated ball animation? They really pulled out all the stops. Good job, Bob Gardner. No, that's okay. I know how these sound. No, absolutely not. Just one. No friends over here. GameCola.net. You're all implicated. Oh, it doesn't accept that. Well then, just GameCola. Eight questions and a possible bonus. All right. Oh, uh, oh which of these is true? The sense that is the least excited during sex is smell. Shaving off the pubic hair allows for deeper penetration. It can be very dangerous for a woman to perform fellatio on a man while he's driving a car. Or fertility drugs have proven very safe and are available over the counter. I, I would say it's three. It's Oh, man, that clock goes fast. So no roadhead, everybody, no roadhead. It's very dangerous. Uh, menopause may actually increase a woman's sexual drive. Three-year-olds without being taught sometimes masturbate. Ugh, gross. Uh, sometimes uh, discussing problems about work with your spouse the way you would with a coworker can diminish intimacy, or a woman can experience a missed orgasm where she's not aware that she had one. Uh, well, four is true because. Uh, I think they always, I, I think every girl I've run into misses the orgasm. You must never talk to your spouse about anything but boners. Men who consistently overeat usually have more sex, powerful sexual drives, so oh, I hope that one's true. Uh, a man may notice a woman's smile or eyes before he gets to her figure. Uh, a common myth about sex is that all men prefer sex on a casual basis, and a man can prevent premature ejaculation by learning how to recognize the sensations. Uh, oh man, that's real bad news for us fatties. The intensity of the first orgasm a woman has determines the kind of sex she will have for her life. How many? What? I don't even know what that would mean. Longest a couple should go without sex is more than a month. Uh, women have orgasms by thinking about a sexy partner. The most important aspect of a good marriage is good sex. Oh yeah, that happens to me every time I think about Steve Buscemi too much. Done. Men with a serious impotence problem can be helped by learning to concentrate better during sex. You know what? You're all literate. I'm just going to skim these. You can read them yourself. Having an affair is a legitimate way for a member of the couple to let the other know there's a problem. Uh, th that is a pretty legit way of letting them know there's a problem. 
vast majority of gay people prefer one night stands. Of course, yes. All gay people like that. That's Was this game made in the 80s? I didn't even know. Fantasizing about her partner. No, who does that? That's why it's fantasizing. Uh, I, I guess it would be number four. The desire to have children is a basic biological function of women. Sounds sexist, almost, so I'll pick that one. Yeah. You are all baby factories. We can move on, game. They give me more time to read the answer than to read all the questions. Prophylactic is a drug advice yet. Sperm is usually not produced at the body temperature of 98.6. Plateau phase. If a man has little hair on his body. Oh. I accidentally hit four. I guess I was right. Of course, that doesn't mean all of us bearded fellows at GameCola.net aren't the manliest men in the world. Because we are. The watery discharge that a woman experiences. Man, this game is really great at making sex sound really hot. Deep-seated fears or emotional problems. Well, yeah. Or an infection. So it could be an infection, or maybe you were raped before. I've had a vaginal infection for six months, despite visiting two doctors and taking medicine. It makes sex very painful, and my sex life is at a standstill. I'm afraid my husband will start looking elsewhere for sexual satisfaction. What do I do? Uh, have sex anyway, abstain from sex, take massive doses of painkillers, or the pain is in your head. Don't think about it and it will go away. I think that's what the guy would say. It's in your head. Just stop thinking about it. I believe the real answer is, yeah, abstain. Satisfy your husband manually or orally in the meantime. What about the butt game? What about the butt? 91 points. We set a record. And granted, no one else has played, but, uh, you know, we set the bar. 91.06445. That's a pretty specific store score. Uh, so this just leads to the question, do we play another game? I guess so. I'm, that was pretty short. Alright, just one again. I uh, that will be Game Cola again. Eight questions. Okay. The force of a man's ejaculation and the distance he propels his semen is an accurate measure of the pleasure he derives. Vibrators are great, but they should be used with restraint. Every year, millions of, of women are killed by vibrators. Spouse whose partner does not like sexual variety can be expected to seek satisfaction elsewhere. It's almost impossible for a man to regain an erection immediately after an orgasm. What? No, I assure you, four is pretty true. Alright, we're busted, guys. We're busted. We are boner machines. We are never-ending boner gobstoppers. It never goes away. Women like men orgasm during sleep. If a man is strongly attracted to a woman and wants to have a relationship with her, the worst thing he can do is sleep with her on the first date. Separate vacations don't mean a marriage declining. Hmm. Well, I want a separate vacation. That would just be kind of awesome. So I don't think it would be that. I guess two. Oh! I kind of missed number four. Uh, yes, it's, it is pretty bad to, to hit your spouse too hard. 
A young man should not feel rejected if he's been invited to do homework with a girlfriend in her bedroom and she ignores his advances. Uh, a man might object if his partner bites his penis accidentally in the passion of the moment. A vein is sometimes visible, visible near the surface of the shaft of the penis. If a woman accidentally handles her partner's penis too roughly, he lets her know what the best thing to do is give up and have sex another time. I guess two. What? So a man won't object if somebody bites his penis? No, I assure you, game. I will object if somebody bites my penis every time. One way to give a woman who has trouble with orgasms to have one is for the male to scream in her ear while he has his... Hey, are you coming yet? A feminine deodorant spray can also double as an effective birth control method. Yeah, a little FDS, that's fine. Uh, one side, of, uh, one side effect of the sexual revolution is that women feel. For oh, okay, I'm, t I'm too slow. Oh, I was right though. I just kind of hit one randomly. Hooray for me! Scream in her ear. Are you gonna come soon? A man's testicles move independently of each other. Yeah, they're my prehensile testicles. We just pick things up with them. That's why we teabag things, to pick them up. Uh, the younger a boy begins to masturbate, the younger he will engage in intercourse. A man who ejaculates with great force is more likely to impregnate a woman than those than who one whose ejaculate is less powerful. Well, yeah, from across the room, maybe. I'll just pick one. But they are very sensitive. Those aren't separate. Those are separate thoughts. They're not connected. It's not. They move independently, but they're very sensitive. Those aren't related. It's like saying the car is very fast, but it's blue. The main principle of a woman achieving an orgasm is simple. But what is all this silly stuff this game keeps pulling up about women having orgasms too? It's very strange. Three-year-olds without being. Thank you, game. That's. I, that's what I wanted to picture again. I appreciate that. I'll pick randomly. Okay. The whole body can be an erogenous zone. Then there are no such thing as erogenous zones. Then whispering, passionate. Erotic sentence fragments in a man's ear during intercourse is extremely distracting. It is. Finish your sentences. I want the MLA sex handbook completely followed. Men should never worry about urine seeping out of the penis. Never. Never worry about the pee. So I should worry about the pee? Ugh. You're asking too much, game. All women can have multiple orgasms. The desire to have children is a basic biological function of women. Women who get a new job after several years of not working uh, make sexual demands. Hitting your maid is a legitimate way of releasing anger. Now we've learned, we've learned an important thing that hitting your mate is not a legitimate way of releasing anger. Uh, so I guess I'll go with one. Okay, fine. I didn't remember what one is anyway. Wow, we didn't do quite as well the second time around, I'll be honest with you. We went from 91 to, to negative 3 somehow. I don't even know how you get in the negatives. I think the kid in kindergarten cop that says boys have penises, girls have vaginas would have at least gotten a 5 for that knowledge alone. So, we are in the negatives on our sex knowledge. Uh, no, I don't believe another game will be necessary. So, uh, we'll just call it a day. We'll just call it a day on this playthrough, this Let's Play. Uh, so next time you are having sexual intercourse, remember to think of all of us here at Game Cola. Vividly. And if you haven't had sexual intercourse yet, just stare at our pictures. And when you do, remember those sexy beards. Good day to you all. Bonus.